Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to something a little bit different. We shall build a custom settlement in the middle of a hill near Concord. This is sacred ground blessed by the mother, so we shall build a house in her honor and hopefully you will like it. The first thing that needed to be done was the actual hill, because I wanted the house to have a basement. I placed large dirt mounds in a circular shape and added rocks on the outer side. The hill had some elevation, but mother wasn't satisfied, so I continued adding rocks until the hill had the size of about 3 foundation blocks. I actually overdid it, it didn't really need to be this deep, but you know what they say, a deep hole is dark and cold, but also full of wonders. Well, I'm pretty sure nobody says that, except for me right now. The inner side was left empty, but it didn't matter since I used this white foundation to cover it all up. Initially I placed the basement entrance facing north, but I quickly realized that the house surface was too large. In order to fix it, I transformed the north corner into a swimming pool pit and then moved the basement entrance so it faces west. As soon as that was done, I wanted to complete the stairway to the first floor of the house. After placing the stairs and surrounding the basement entrance with walls, I had to use the simply modular door frame because the snap and build real estate item have very limited doorways, which is a pity and it angered mother. Despite minor problems, this area reached its final shape pretty quickly. Next step was creating the house rooms. I wanted a long hallway leading into the house, so the basement door ended up being the first thing we encounter once we're inside. The room next to the stairs required slight fuckery to build, due to the stairs assaulting my snapping abilities, but thanks to my decades in fuckery experience I was able to figure it out by snapping to the floor instead of the wall. The large room facing south has 45 degree corners, 4 style points and a balcony which was also problematic to build. For some reason the snapping of it is a complete bastard and the items themselves have these stupid poles that made the balcony look like it has cancer. Mother doesn't care about that though. She already has cancer. During my attempts to make the house look nice, I realized that the only way I could make sure that every room has its own type of wall is to place a double wall. That way every side of the wall can look fitting to that room. Simply modular housing has wallpapers that can make this very simple, but since I decided to use real estate from snap and build, I didn't want to mix things too much. The doorway was enough. I did the same thing for all rooms, which very quickly made me question, was I really playing Fallout 4 or was it Sims 4? Now it was time to place these balcony supports. First I erected these thin concrete pillars to see if they would be enough, but they weren't. It looked like someone could destroy them with their balls, even if they were a woman. To strengthen the supports I put these thick pillars that were much more suitable for this design. Afterwards I placed the items, which means we must do the tour. As we enter the house, we can see a small shelf that is basically a memory storage item for mother, because her memory isn't what it used to be. It contains mother's keys and a variety of other items. She uses the paper to write down what happened when she was outside, in case she forgets. The American flag and the capital picture remind her of the days in the past when she served her country, a country that is long gone now. The golden watch and money is a reminder of father, who was a chronic gambler. She broke the mirror on the day she found out that Dr. Siak murdered him. Next we have the basement. We shall not go there today. The nearby shelves contain many items that sometimes get used, such as cameras for taking pictures of various animals, vault equipment that she needs when she goes out, special military books and hard liquor. The picture on the wall is a snapshot of mother's farm from when she was a young girl. She lived with her parents and the farm had cattle, horses and chickens. Further down the hall we have yet another picture, this time of the American president on a horse. When she came back from service she took her favorite horse and started traveling the world. In the middle of her travels the bombs fell and while she survived the horse didn't. She often marks different locations on the map and imagines what would it be like to travel again. On the opposite side there is the bathroom that contains a lot of towels, the window is covered with blinds and the toilet paper is triggering. The kitchen is right next door, a pleasant red room with a table that has mother's soup and some atmospheric candles. From the contents on the counter we can see that she is currently in preparation of supper. She uses a wide variety of spices, vegetables and other ingredients that make her food taste spectacular. She is also a compulsive cleaner, so her house always looks spotless. She loves her kitchen and it is always a joy to cook. The nearby stairs have a bunch of father's crates behind it that are inaccessible. Out of respect to father, she never attempted to retrieve them. The 
living room is where mother spends most of her time. On the left, there is a desk with a typewriter that she uses to write stories that are mostly her memories from the past. She always has a dose of jet fuel nearby to help her clear her mind and write better. Going right, we get to the couch where Frank is sitting with his teddy bear. Frank is an avid book reader and always bothers mother to write more so he can read. The large bookshelf contains all the stories that she wrote and Frank has, of course, read all of them. The other side contains a stereo player with a painting above it. This was painted by mother shortly after she rescued Frank, Mark and Jared when their boat capsized in the nearby lake. She was taking pictures of the wildlife when she noticed the boat sinking and thanks to her military training she was able to save the three young men. One of them, Jared, is sitting on the couch eating mother's lunch. He is a big fan of magazines and TV shows and spends most of his days sitting here watching TV or reading the magazines. The balcony is rather simple, just a few patio chairs and tables along with a nice white light. Mother doesn't go Go here often because this is where father spent most of his days playing cards with his friends. We still need to finish building the house and the front yard, including the pool. Given that mother's story needs to be told, expect that to be done soon. My plan is to add just a few rooms to the first floor and then make sure the swimming pool is properly decorated as well as the house entrance. I hope you're okay with this style where the builds are split in parts because it allows me to make videos and have enough time to build without going days without uploads. Please do let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in regards to mother's house. Maybe you might help develop her story even further. Further. Thanks for watching and don't believe everything you see. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.